Hello guys and welcome to episode 6 of my Balanovici campaign in Steel Division 2. Today we are going to be trying to press on to Balanovici. So what I'm going to do is overextend my tanks on purpose so they get attacked and then we'll try and reinforce them I think. If they get attacked by the 64th AA Battalion, we might be in trouble. But anyone else, and we should be okay. There's a lot of Hussars here, but they lack long-range AT. I do have some 40 mils, but that's about it. Uh, meanwhile, I am going to press to their airfield around the top side. So that's something I'm going to do with the recon squad. So let's gonna move on but we don't want to get into range obviously of the town we'll move like so have this one come across with us as well and we can try and get round the backside of Balanovici as well right so I guess actually if I don't have to use too many action points I could probably just push up like so and then Next turn, we should be in range to attack the 611th Security Regiment. Uh, do I want to encourage them to attack me, though? Hmm. Because breaking down this AA net would be a good idea. And if anything else attacks us, then we're fine. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, I am tempted to move these guys forwards as well, but very exposed... So I'm probably going to do this, actually. Move them into this, the position they were in. These, I don't think, will be in range to be attacked, so we can get away with that. Keep those on phase B. It's really quite awkward here. Uh, let's see if we can sneak through. Actually, oh, that's not a good idea. Imagine getting sandwiched between the 731st Tank Destroyer Battalion and the 245th Assault Gun Brigade. That would be <laughs> a big mistake. Alright, well, I'm going to have to move out with these lot. I'm going to have to keep pushing the line forwards. And honestly, I might have to stay there. I could dig in, potentially. Hmm. Well, these guys are coming down. We don't actually have the movement points to attack the 611th, so they're probably just going to make a run for it. It's kind of annoying. Whatever, we'll just move around here. And down like so, we can move these ones across. Uh, I'm probably going to have to move these up and around. Although I'll probably leave one here just in case the gap becomes big enough. Ah, oh, bummer. Pressed on the wrong unit. That's fine. Uh, these two are going across. We're moving away from those tigers. Don't have to bomb them. Okay. Um, I'm probably able to take a hit from Group Heart Neck. I don't think we should use the bombs on those. Dig in these. Might have to move the 219th Tank Brigade back to block the exit. All these moving up. Okay. So yeah, I'm hoping that they attack my Shermans. We can kind of bait them out of their defensive positions. That is the hope. Because if they don't, then it actually makes it incredibly difficult for us. 
But we will get rid of their aircraft, so they won't have that to support them. Then I can definitely bring in like IL-2s, for example. Do I bomb anything? I could bomb Group Hartneck just to stop them attacking us. That is a possibility. But what else would I bomb? Maybe the 280th Assault Gun Brigade? Just so they don't move towards Baranovici? We could save some bombers for if we get attacked. Which ones would I want to save? Probably the PE3s, right? A bit more useful. Uh, actually, those only have two 100 kilogram bombs. These have rockets, though. Uh, these, are, I think, are more conventional bombers. Yeah, so I think I'll use the the PE3s, actually, to bomb. And we'll bomb Group Hartnex so they don't attack us. And then... Anywhere else they do, we can bring in the bombers as direct support. Uh, the other thing I can do, and may as well do, is uh, bring in reinforcements. Because we've got the points too. Not that these are ever going to get to their position in time. Like you can bring in this unit, for example. But how are these expected to get to Badanovici in time? There's like absolutely no point in bringing them in, really. It's really strange. I may as well not give you the option. I mean, these maybe. The thing is with this AT battalion, I could leave it here so that when, if Group of Hartnack did attack us, then they would reinforce and we could use them to pop the Tigers at range, but the Tigers would likely pin them down. And that's going to be not 19, it's going to be nearer 30 Tigers because of the hard difficulty if we were to play it in a tactical battle. But any, everything's done anyway, um, we may as well just move on to the next turn. Alright, the tanks have been attacked. My plan has succeeded. I just don't know what we're going to do Otherwise, I mean, oh, it's actually been the a the AA battalion attacked us. Okay, this is going to be an interesting battle. Because I can't really bring in anything else to reinforce. I could try and bring in the bombers, but they're technically that's the AA now. Actually. Hmm, I'm kind of curious to see. Because they're attacking us, do they maintain their AA net? Because if they don't, like, during the attack, then after the attack is finished, we won't take the damage from the AA net. Hmm. I don't think it's worth the risk. Actually, we're going to be destroying their aircraft soon anyway, so maybe it is worth the risk. We won't need fighters anymore, if that's the case. We'll bring the bombers. Wait, did that kill some of my units there? I feel like it might have wiped out a few of my yaks. Unless that's all the yaks we lost previously. I don't think we lost that many though. Oh well. We have all of that to work with in this battle and that's okay because it means we have 60 points worth. I am going to have to play this at close range. Uh, at longer ranges we will lose because of the 88. So we're going to have to like be sneaky about this for sure. And so the reason I brought the aircraft isn't necessarily to use them, it's for the points. So that we don't lose quickly. Because I'm not obviously I'm playing against an AA battalion. And what else came in? The 611th security. 
Regiment and the second Hussar Regiment. So there is quite a lot of infantry. Well, this is going to be certainly an interesting battle. It's good that it's a relatively small map. Definitely helps us out. Gonna have them go hide in the garden there. Okay. Bring in a few more here just because I need to cover off the center. But I do want to make sure that I bring in my recon. That's the word I was looking for. Right. Let's see. I might be able to push a bit further with these. If we play reverse side defense there, that's not too bad. Let's just do that and we'll launch. See how we get on. This is going to be a tough old battle because we have a lot of units to go up against. The unit is not moving. Get over there. Actually, if they are bringing in the infantry, they might not focus on AA that soon, which means we can then bring in the bombers. How about we just bring in a like the recon P2 and see what's up. Uh, these should be on a... Hmm, interesting. They should be on a... Quick hunt? Orders? We haven't really found any AA yet. Just IGs. That's a good thing. I might be able to push more aggressively than I thought. Hmm. If we can win this hard, then this would be amazing. Like, actually amazing. Because we would gain so much from this. Let's have a couple keep pushing up. They brought in a lot of mortars. Like, the fact that they reinforced the AA regiment with other units is actually really good for us. Really good. I'm just going to play this super aggressive. I'm going to have to engage that unit because it's in, like the IG could hurt us from range. Because it does use heat. But we're going to want to strafe it. That's good. Alright, we've saved ourselves there. If I had to be too worried about AT, maybe AT rifles. Just going surprisingly well. <laughs> Probably just jinx myself, but there we go. We shall see. I do need to find whatever it is that's here, so we're gonna make sure we go around all over the place here and clean things up. If 88 start coming in, <laughs> it could get messy. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, we found some alpha clutter. They're dead. There's another unit here though that's might have. They might actually have a Panzerfaust if it's like some Rush, not Russian, um, Hungarian units, and they might actually have yeah ship <laughs> Panzerfausts. I was actually Luftwaffe Jäger, so not even the right unit, but okay. At least we know they're there. Let's uh, move these back just to sort of sort that out. Ooh, might have to be careful. It's okay, we'll attack, move out the other side. That can just have a reverse order. Okay, good. Right. Those are pinned, which means we can run them down. Priority right now is probably just controlling this left side of the town. Okay, I need to get my recon up there. Definitely something in that town. Oh shit, that's uh, Sitterungs. Uh, we need to. Push on those ASAP. Uh, these can push for the next objective. We can do that. Got to be a little bit careful with this point. I'm just going to move the tank up next to it though. Alright, Fizzleers, they are dead. Nice. There is another unit here somewhere. Oh, got to be careful we don't let ourselves get surrounded. Move the tank back. I don't actually have many like fast units. So I can't afford to like let myself lose ground like that. Ooh, gun jam. That's gonna be looks like from the right side. Oh no. Just turn my side to that Sizerung squad. That shit. Um hmm. Alright. Nothing much we can do about that right now. Just gonna have to push up quite aggressively. Make sure we got eyes on the spawn roads. Oh, hello. That is an 88. Time to go. <laughs> Get into cover, boys. Uh, there's Sitarungs in here. We're going to have to find and kill. Right, we lost one of our tanks there, but we found the Sidorung, so that's not too bad. I mean, this aggression is paying off massively. And the fact we don't have to deal with the 88s is so nice. Like, there is obviously one on the main road now, but we've already secured most of the points. And if they bring one in like on this left-hand side, it's just going to get hit massively. There is the unit in this town somewhere. I'm probably just going to push onto it. 41 seconds left. Let's just reverse away from it so we show front armor. Hopefully it'll just bounce. Like 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Come on. Kill those Sitterungs for me. Okay, that's one squad dealt with. Wow. <laughs> I'm kind of astounded that this worked out so well. Because it's going to be a total defeat, which means they get routed. And then if they're routed, that means we can take Balanovici quite easily. Because if we attack them now... Um, they will push back the other units nearby, assuming that they don't have any um, action points. We lost four Shermans, and we've pushed back the AA battalion, which is perfect. Please don't get affected by the AA. Okay, good. 
I don't think we did, which is really nice. Look at all those units like stuck behind enemy lines. <laughs> you can just see them all moving. Oh, we've been attacked again. Where have we been attacked? Uh, okay. And this is the 3rd Recon Battalion coming at my Shermans. Honestly, I probably don't need to do too much. The 4th Bomber Wing will probably join in, so we'll bring out fighters, I think. I think it's just a matter of charge and strafe. I might have these as reinforcements just in case, but we'll bring out fighters as well. Actually, we only have the 946 Assault Regiment. Alright, well, we'll have to play it out, I think. Oh, did I click Auto Resolve by accident? Oh, Flak Defense. Bollocks. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> we lost 18 IL-2s. I did not see that. Oh, that, I'm such an idiot. Oh, that hurts. That hurts badly. Because so the thing is, I probably don't even need them in terms of, like, using the IL-2s. I just need them for... I wanted to bring them in because I'd be available in A, and then I get more points to work with early on. But now I only have 20 points. Ah, oh, that's... Ah, oh, that's just bad. This is so bad. Okay. Thankfully, there's not much heavy armor in Balanovici, so we should be okay, but this just made things so much harder than it had to be. I mean, it, it was probably going to be this hard anyway. Uh, it's just completely pointless losing those aircraft. Thankfully, it's quite an open map, so we should be okay. Not the most exciting setup, I'll tell you that much. Might have to be careful on this left side down. Or right side down, sorry. And two chubbers, I think it is. Alright, well, we'll reinforce that right side. Stop that for a sec until my other one arrives. Oh shit, they got crew killed. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Probably shouldn't have this sped up. But this battle is relatively inconsequential. I don't think that was the only unit in the middle. Can't have been. There's a unit here somewhere. This one's going to have to actually come back. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> now we destroyed the Lovis. Uh, got your solo shock. Also going to get pinned. Fine. Uh, just bring in a unit there. If that's the unit in that position, I would like to render them. We'll just straight up kill them, because we're behind lines, behind enemy lines there, so... Okay. Ah, uh, that's a Panzerfaust. Right, let's just attack move here. We need a, a tank here as well. The thing is, I can hold these open 
ground objectives quite well, but the ones near the towns we just lose. For example. This is pretty careless, but don't want to waste my time on this battle too much. Those Toldies actually have a potential to hurt quite badly. We don't need two on that side, I'll push them one to the mid. Uh, let's bring in some Visivod. Provide us with some infantry. I don't have any more I can use. I can use that one. Use this one. They should surrender. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's just slow it down for a sec. Because I'm losing units unnecessarily. I will bring in my Kesaradvetka here and uh, we'll just move move them through the buildings. I go your solo shock, uh, we can kill. I think that's another godly shot of shock here, actually. Could be low base. Could be low base. Another unit of infantry dead. Both my Visivod died for no reason. Oopsie. <laughs> I'm rushing this and I shouldn't be. <laughs> Apparently. I'm paying for it. Right, it was low base, not go your solo shock, so that now to fall back. It's fine. Let's unload these. I'm going to bring in my other two recon units on that side. Uh, these Kazarvedka can move up through the town for me. Ah. That, uh... German moved back to the position it was originally attacking because I didn't change the order. Very sloppy. Can save the Kaz. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, we dealt with those infantry units anyway. Time to continue up. I do have one more Visivod. We can bring that in. All we need is a victory. So, that's what I'm looking for here. That one 
died. Probably a close range low base shot with a Panzerfaust through the town. Alright, we found that unit. That one's not going to ambush us today. Alright, good. Run him down. Ah, uh, no you don't, AI. Hey, no you don't. I'm actually more inclined to sacrifice my Valentine 9s to find out where infantry is, rather than losing my Germans. I still have it sped up at this point. Kind of working. There is Lovis here somewhere. This is so risky. <laughs> Alright, we do find them if we do that. That's fine. Oh, there's a Goyo Solo Shock. We don't have to worry about those. Okay, we're 17 to 9. Uh, we might be able to push a few more. Let's see. Alright, Loves. No way! There's one, one man left. There was one man. One man left. Well... There we go, guys. Says it all, really, doesn't it? I lost my Valentine there. What's that killing us? Wait, what? They shouldn't have any, like, AT guns or anything, I don't think. Very odd. Oh, we're 19 to 7. I think if we push maybe like 20, we get the victory. <laughs> we captured that truck and they just killed it immediately. Like, you can't have it. <laughs> Alright, well, been a bloody battle, that's for sure. Lost a lot of our stuff. Major defeat for them. Uh, this needs to be moved out of the way. Can move in there though to attack that. Good. Kill off all those units. I think there's potential actually for us to wipe out this unit. They must be down to their last legs. That was major victory, yeah. Good. Our losses are disgusting. Uh, we lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Shermans.
Those are the ones I care about. So that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, I only lost 18 IL-2s. <laughs> Mustn't forget about that. This is really bad. That's really bad. Because we can't bring an air, air, air force to attack Alanovici. And we can't even attack this turn. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well... What we're going to do is we're going to move over this airfield. And that's going to remove their air presence. Oh, I didn't even mean to move there. We can move a little bit away. That's good. Alright. Um, hmm. I might have to move that one back slightly. We can continue to move these ones forwards, though. Make sure they can't join on the bottom there. Alright. Not that it really matters at this point. We either take Badana Vici or we lose. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I need enough units with two action points left. Or one action point left to complete this campaign in time. And I don't know if we can do it. I guess we could have... Gee, I could use the recon units. Yeah, we could use the recon units. Hmm. If I move that there, we could use the recon. Because I think they restore all of their action points. So that would be a good way to sort of cheat that a little bit. I don't feel like we've been doing this slowly. Like, look how... <laughs> I mean, we've moved these towards Battle of Vici every turn. And they're still not close. And we have two turns left to win. I think you can still finish the campaign if you don't do it in time. But... Yeah. This is a big old problem. <laughs> the mixed AA battalion. They're covering the 507th Heavy Panzer Battalion as well. And Group Hartneck. So, how do we kill those <laughs> AA pieces? Hmm. I don't think we can. <laughs> oh boy. Unless. Unless I make a juicy target for them to attack. How about a no action point 32nd Guards Cavalry Regiment? Maybe that will do the trick. Hmm. Now the thing is, even though all of these are routed, there's still a bunch of units here that have three action points. So they're all going to be able to reinforce. And it's a lot of Lovis. A lot of love this. So, yeah, we are in trouble. Or them attacking us is good because it does sort of take the bite out of that garrison. The most annoying thing about all of this artillery we have, we can't use the Bombard. Nothing that can use Bombard. It's all really crappy. Actually, this unit might attack us again. Yeah. Oh well. I could bomb them. I can bomb those. I mean, I'm not going to be able to attack anything else now, so I may as well. Just so they don't waste our time. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I've left a lot of these on one action point so that in the end of it, at the end of the turn, if they aren't involved in the battle, they should have enough 
to initiate an attack. And if we have to, we can use the recon to make the attacks as well. But we don't have like an air force. We it, it's they covered it. So yeah, we're in trouble. We are in trouble for sure. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I am going to leave it here. We'll see if we can complete it in the next episode. But I feel like there's going to be quite a few long battles, so it might be a couple of episodes down the line. We will see. It's been a very difficult campaign letting them build up. We definitely took it slower than potentially we needed to. And we might pay for it. We'll have to wait and see. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.